There's the uh, new Allegiant Stadium where the Raiders won uh, their game last night in overtime. Coming up on all kinds of... Uh, this is... Well, here you go. Here's Mandalay Bay. Somebody coming in. Can't tell who it is. I didn't realize they built the stadium right near all the casinos and stuff. Huh? Must be interesting on game day. We have entered um, Valley of Fire State Park. It's northeast of Las Vegas. Um, inside the park looks like just outside the park so far. Though I just got in, I don't, I don't know what to expect. There's a visitor center and. Maybe I can pick up some info. Um, I'm a, expecting Valley of Fire to be a lot of red rock. And there's a little bit of red rock as we come around the corner. So we'll wait and see what happens. So, definitely red rock. Might have to put my microphone on. She almost guaranteed me that I would see some big horn sheep today, the woman at the entry fee place. Well, I see the name Valley of Fire. Where it comes from is all this uh, red rock. This is beautiful. Already, in my opinion, this is superior to yesterday's Red Rock Canyon. Alright, coming down, this is, she told me, the, I don't know, the best representation of the park, I and mean, look at this, you're driving down this little narrow road, just surrounded by these gorgeous red rocks, everywhere, everywhere you look. Both sides of the road. Still searching for that big horn sheep. Hope I can get you one. Big horn ram? I'm not sure what they call it. So this is called Fire Canyon. All the red rock, I'm guessing they just assumed to name everything fire-wise. And there's quite a view looking off in the opposite direction. Just some more of the uh, really amazing <laughs> red rock. It's everywhere. Even at the visitor center, even the ground was red. And the red is usually caused by iron in the, in the rock that rusts. But... Uh, I don't know if that's the case here or not. There's some more of the pretty spectacular stuff here. Just the end of this scenic road. Got some different stuff going on here. Beautiful blue sky. I hope it's showing up on this. Not a, not a cloud to be seen anywhere. Just 
coming back through this red canyon. This is, this, I like this. interstate in northern Arizona driving flew through flatland and all of a sudden here we go it says curves and mountain climbing next nine miles so this is what I'm looking at I happened to look in my rearview mirror coming up the hill and this is what was behind me Amazing. Arizona, went through Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, or Arizona, sorry, and it's just pretty spectacular. Just came over the top of the mountain, and this is what I've got for a view. I love that view. All red rock over here, big wide open spaces. I bet you that's 30 or 40 miles away that I'm looking at over there. I'm not sure how big everything is, but this is part of, uh, I just don't know how far it goes, the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. Not really all that far from uh, Grand Canyon, I don't think. Two or three hours, maybe? Which out here is nothing. Let's go see what we can find out. So I've been riding down the road for about 10 miles. Still have these magnificent cliffs along the side. I've seen about three cars. They're still way up ahead of me and they're now closing in a little on the other side of the road also. I'm looking at this, it's like deja vu. I could swear I've been here before. But I don't know. I've been to this part of the country quite a few times. Just right up against it now. I think I used this way coming the other direction to get to, ah uh, yeah, the Grand Canyon. Because over here, if you can see this canyon over here, that's the Colorado River down there. Alright, I've done this before, and it's still spectacular. The Colorado River, by the way, is the river that goes on to form the Grand Canyon and is, is dammed uh, at Hoover Dam. And uh, up also up by where we're heading to tonight, the Glen, Can uh, Glen Canyon Dam that forms Lake Powell. Alright. I like it. So just to give you pers some perspective, I'm in Arizona at Highway Marker 543. It means there's 543 miles of this road. That's a lot of miles. All right, I'm standing on the Navajo Bridge, and uh, over on this side is uh, Navajo Nation, and down below is the Colorado River. Slowly meandering along, you can see how it's formed this canyon. This is a river that's going to keep on going, and. The reason that the Grand Canyon is there, all from this river. 
later in the year so it's not flowing all that fast let's say it's controlled by I don't know how many dams so it's like a cloudy green down there So I'm about 35 miles from where I first picked these up and it looks like they're just going to come to an end right here. Eh, maybe not. There's more in the back. I guess it just swings around and the road doesn't quite follow the cliffs. So 35 miles in and still got the cliffs going on. Spectacular cliffs. This is a great ride. It is Almost every ride in Arizona, once you get out of the cities, is great, as far as I'm concerned. This is US 89A, and if I was heading in the opposite direction, I would be heading to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Blue sky, some clouds, red rock, it's a beautiful day. Just a scenic overlook looking down into where we just came from. And that big gash right there is the Colorado River. Kind of hazy, so not focusing real well. 